Good evening, and welcome to BCTV 14 News. I'm Daniel Sabatino. And I'm Noelle Wright. Bethany College students are on the move. They are off to New York and Chicago. BCTV reporter Kayla Spinelli has more. Here at Bethany College, we have students from all around the country that are interested in exploring other great cities. The students' activity clubs here at Bethany College have made that possible. Yeah, definitely. I liked it a lot, and I liked everything that we got to see. My favorite part of the trip was probably Broadway and seeing The Lion King. It was really good. Going to New York was the first time for many students. There are 6,374.6 miles of streets in New York City. Unlike most major subway systems around the world, the New York subway runs 24 hours a day. It was pretty difficult to get around considering it was a new city and the subway system was pretty hard to understand. There are a lot of popular places in New York City. One is Madison Square Garden, which is an indoor arena in Midtown Manhattan in New York City. I knew a lot of things to do there. Well, one of the favorite things I like to do was go to the Knicks basketball game. Reporting for BCTV 14, I'm Kayla Spinelli. Pre-registration for the fall semester will begin at 12.01 a.m. Monday, April 15th. In order to be able to register for fall courses, you are required to meet with your academic advisor prior to registration. Students should meet with their advisor between March 25th and April 5th to review their academic progress and select courses for the fall semester. Do you need physical, mental, or spiritual revitalization? Each Thursday at 4 p.m. throughout the semester in the Renner Art Gallery, Professor Hillgardner and Dr. Lamson will be leading a yoga class. All are welcome. You do not have to have any prior yoga experience, and this is a free class. Make sure to bring a mat or a towel and water. The annual Kalon Leadership Lunch luncheon took place on Saturday, March 9th. The annual luncheon featured a prominent alumni who spoke to Kalon students. BC TV reporter Kayla McQuillan has more of the story. I'm standing in front of the Ogden Dining Hall where the Kalon Leadership Luncheon took place before spring break. Special guest was Dan Varekis, class of 94 alum. Varekis graduated from Bethany in 1994 with a degree in mass communications. Since leaving, Varekis has had an exciting career leading him to where he is today. VP of Public Relations at Kramer and Craslett in Chicago. Vrakis offered words of wisdom to future graduates. Today, you need to be extremely flexible and adaptable. If you want to build an awesome career for yourself, it's not going to be enough to simply know and be good at one thing. After Vrakis spoke, President Miller and Deedon Fields presented him with a framed picture of Old Main to show their appreciation for sharing his encouraging words. But if I had to do it all over again, I absolutely would return to, to Bethany. I think that the, the approach today is more relevant than ever. After the speakers, the students were paired up with alumni and faculty to do mock interviews. I'm Kayla McQuillan, reporting for BC TV. Bethany College is inviting families and siblings to campus for the college's annual Siblings Weekend from April 12th to the 13th, hosted by Student Activities Council. There will be a carnival and a guest appearance by mentalist Craig Carges. For more information, contact Katherine Warren via email. Between Sunday, May 12th and Thursday, May 16th, trips include Kennywood, Dave & Buster's, Hofferhaus, Laser Tag, a picnic, and tour towers. All events except the picnic have a $5 trip deposit associated with them. The deposit is due at the time of event registration to hold your spot. Trips are limited to 50 people, so be sure to get there early to save your spot. There has been a new hire in Bethany College's athletics department. William Garvey has been appointed the Bison football team's newest head coach. BCTV reporter Josh Moody has the story. I remember with new coach William Garvey, we discussed his future as head coach and also how the players and recruits were affected. We also talked about a few of the sent out players from the team. And we talked about a few of the players and how their reactions were. Close with Coach Weaver and I had a close relationship with him and respected him a lot. But um, he took a really good opportunity at Delaware and um, it's good, great for him and his family. Players as a whole, the whole team likes Coach Garvey a lot better. I think he's a better mentor and uh, he's been running the offense for a while. So I definitely think we're gonna have a better season and 
Good for that PAC Conference Championship. Standout player Matt Gilmore described by Coach Garvey as a big, gigantic, physical football player as he breaks multiple records. Coach Garvey also spoke on the rumors of NFL interest for star player Matt Gilmore. Yeah, I mean, there are. Um, you know, all to his credit, you know, we have nothing to do with that. We don't go out and say, hey, look at our guy. They gotta, they make the call just like any other recruiting process, just like we recruit seniors in high school. They do the same thing. They go across the whole country and evaluate everybody, and we've gotten some calls on him, and people will be coming in for spring ball to evaluate him, watch some film, and watch him practice. Lynn has been working hard over the offseason as he is the best returning core receiver on the team. He, among other young players, have to step up, and they're definitely capable of doing so. No reason why he shouldn't even be better than last year, says Coach Garvey, with the losses of seniors Ed Holmes and John Foster. After talking to Coach Garvey and a few of the players, we determined that the team next year for the 13th season is going to be pretty much the same, even though they had a coaching change. For BCTV, I'm Josh Moody. The 2013 Bethany Football Golf Classic at Highland Springs Golf Course is Saturday, May 4th at 8.30 a.m., Donations are $100 per golfer, $60 per golfer for Bethany grads. Classes of 2010 to 2013. Please complete the registration online by April 26th. Phi Kappa Tau will be having a clothing drive through the end of March. All clothing is accepted. You can deliver clothing to Phi Tau or email a member of the chapter. Stay with us. After the break, your BCTV 14 Sports with Stephanie Bordley. Welcome back. I'm Stephanie Bordley, and here are your Bethany Sports Recaps. The lacrosse team is now 2-6. and six. They play home again on April 5th. Each, springs, each spring season brings warm weather and spring training. The baseball team is now eager to start a training and get a successful season underway. BCTV reporter Jared Martin has more. As the weather warms up, so does the baseball team. I spoke to a couple of coaches and players about what they expect for the upcoming season. It was a long way back. Uh, Saturday before I threw it, it had been uh, 22 months since I'd thrown a collegiate game, so uh, I was more than ready on Saturday. The Bison pitching staff will be looked upon as one of the biggest keys to success throughout the course of the brutal PAC gauntlet. On the offensive side of things, Chuck Zions and the Bison look to prove the PAC preseason rankings of sixth place wrong. I mean, my personal thoughts, I feel like we are a little low, but, you know, that's where we come in. We win more games. We, you know, we shock the world. So, lower we are, I think it's better. People don't expect much. So, when we're in the conference tournament, you know, it's a shock. People are thinking, where did these guys come from? Well, I thought it was a little bit low, but, you know, you take preseason polls for what they're worth, which is nothing and just BR. But uh, the guys are fairly upset about it, and uh, I kind of like that. As players take to the mound and practice their pitching skills this spring, they and the coaches hope the hard work now pays off come game time. Well, I've, I've worked uh, 11 years in the minor leagues as a pitching coach, and uh, seven of those years was with the, the Marlins. And uh, during the World Series years, and we had the opportunity, we had quite a few guys in the minor leagues that turned out to be pretty good. Uh, Josh Beckett, uh, A.J. Burnett, guys like that that we had in the minor leagues at that time. All throughout the season, the Bison will be playing with the chip on their shoulder as they look to prove the PAC preseason ranking wrong. Up, up, up. For BCTV, I am Jared Martin. The baseball team is just arriving back from Florida, and they also have a record of 2-6. and six. The softball team is back from Florida, too, now with the record season for their season of 6-6. Six and six. They were four and four in the Florida tournament. While in Florida, Maria Valone broke the career high hit record with 195 hits. I was actually able to sit down with her as well as Emily Jump and Coach Forsty to see how they prepared in the off season and to see where they are standing now in the season. As the softball team is fresh off a of spring break, which they spent in Fort Myers, Florida, the team is hot and ready as they open up the season. In the offseason, Coach Forsey was getting them as ready as possible as early as possible. A lot of two-a-day practices. We, we did uh, conditioning at 6 a.m., uh, practices in the evening. Um, you know, we worked hard probably two, three hours every day uh, for seven weeks. Off-season preparation sure paid off. Playing three nationally ranked teams, one of them they defeated. With a record of four and four in Florida, they left out with not only the team pretty excited for the season, but the coaching staff as well. We had a great Florida trip. Came back four and four. We played uh, three nationally ranked teams. 
Uh, got a win off of one of them. So it was a good trip. It was a real good trip. Foresty mentioned two players who have been a great impact on the field. Senior Maria Ballone broke the all-time hit record with 195 hits. Well, we worked really hard in the off-season. We personally actually did my senior project on our off-season conditioning workout. So we did a lot of um, conditioning that way. And um, we always do our 2,500 hits club. And we actually did a ground ball club. So we make sure we get in tons of ground balls and hits before our season. Another impact player on the team is pitcher and first baseman Emily Jump. I followed up with her after practice to ask her how she was planning on helping the team go far. Our goals obviously were PA season regionals and to get there over the offseason we did a lot of mental game. We did like the ground ball club, the 500 swing club, or the 2500 swing club. Um, we've just been doing conditioning every morning, 6 a.m., two a days. So we've worked really hard and hopefully it'll all pay off. Of course, this is the beginning of the season. There are many things Coach Foresty said that they were working on. Just getting some consistency, capitalizing when you have runners in scoring position as opposed to leaving on base. Defense is pretty sound. Uh, offense needs to pick up. We've got a pretty deep pitching staff, so I think I think we're I think we're ready to go. The coach has big goals this year, and she seems confident in all of her players. With a 6-6 six and six record and enthusiasm from all the players, the Bethany softball team is well on their way to a bright season. I'm Stephanie Bordley, and that was your sports recap here at Bethany. Hi, I'm BCTV meteorologist Taylor Verico. Now, I know the past few weeks it's been quite cold, but we are expecting some occasional sun sunshine as we move into this upcoming week. However, we are also expecting overcast skies and some chilly temperatures. So if you go outside, you will probably need a light jacket. Let's take a look at what's going on today. 48 high, 36 low, record 83-14, normal 54-34. Now the record was 83 degrees. That was last in 1950. That seems crazy because of the temperatures we have been experiencing. Let's see how much sunshine we are expecting this upcoming week with our five-day forecast. Friday, 46. Moving into Saturday, 50. Sunday, 53. Starting off the week, next week, 51 and 47. That will do it for this first BCTV 14 newscast of 2013. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. For Daniel Sabatino, I'm Noelle Wright. Good night.